I'm at Eden Festival and I'm with Dougie from Mickey Nines. How are you doing? Fantabuloso. Yeah, you just performed and you were rocking the moves up there. I know, that was good. Yeah. Uh, I thought I was doing even extra good moves tonight. I really do, f- I feel that as well. I don't know, I was like, I think it's because it's a big stage, you've got more space and you can't trip on things. <laughs> and it's not like slippy. But also I think it's because I wasn't wearing any shoes because my boots were kicked in mud. Okay. Uh, so then that means you got a little bit more nimble. Yeah. Or no, I really was sat there thinking, oh, Dougie, yes. Really, them hips were going. So uh, it's all in the hips, honestly. Yeah. It's yeah. a thing. Like if I need to teach the younger generation, then it's about the hips. If you want to dance, uh, this is a bit of a weird story, a weird thing to say. But a guy, <laughs> I don't even know how to say this, but it's actually true. When I worked in Malawi uh, as a teacher, this guy told me how to da- like. <laughs> this is, it sounds like I'm making this up. But it's actually true. He taught me how to dance because he was like, you know, you, you can't dance because you're like. A white man, basically, oh, right. and then that was obviously, you know, I was cut, cut to the the soul with that. Yeah. But then he taught me how to do, he taught me, and he was like, it's "Just the hips," and then I was like, "All right, all right, it's the hips." So that's how I learned. It's interesting you say about the because you're a white man, so you've got a song that's about kind of prejudice against straight white males, and this is an interesting one because often it's heard from the other side, and I want to hear your perspective. So was that inspired by your troubles as a straight white man? Yes, I um, I'm a very uh, feel very oppressed because if you you know if you watch movies today, you don't see any straight white men in leading roles, and uh, if you look at politics, like you know I mean like practically every prime minister is a woman or, or oh I've, I've got to stop you there we can't go into politics too much right. no but that's I'm okay, that's okay. No, um, it's quite hard for, uh, on like the airwaves to people to know if you're being ironic so. I was being ironic, just so you know. It's interesting <laughs> that you point that out, though, because you know what? I do feel like everyone gets stick these days, whether you're a woman, a man, whatever you're kind of, whatever you are, you get stick. Yet you get basically rubbish for being, just being. And I think it's good to hear perspectives from men who are also feel like that. You know, well, to be honest, I really don't. Act, I mean, it's don't actually. I don't want to talk about the meaning of the song because, like, the, I think the funniness of the song is that it, people don't know how to take it, which is what I really enjoy. <laughs> I really enjoy when you sing it, and then people are really don't know like what uh, what you're like what side of the fence you're on. So, ma- oh, all <laughs> right, okay. Really so it's like, maybe just a bit of a joke, and you're taking the Mickey out of straight white men. I don't want to say because <laughs> then it would ruin it. Don't but to say, I see. like the chorus of you know, make America great again. <laughs> it's just so brilliant when you do that at a festival full of no offence but you know a bunch of hippies and like they just look at you and they don't they're like is he joking or not and they just don't know and that's why I don't want to say okay. if I'm joking or not yeah you're like, America hard on yeah because you know Donald Trump's brilliant isn't he he's like <laughs> he's the same whoa whoa we're going into politics again there no 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 consp- I don't know. Let, whoa 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 I'll stop you there stop you there <laughs> Let's let's move on to the no new album. Or something, I can't new, move on, move on to new album. I really cannot. We're not allowed to discuss these things here. Uh, I I don't know. We can't go into that. But um, let's go on to the new album. You did a few tunes from your old stuff, which new stuff is very different from old yeah, stuff. Yeah. But it's also great. And I just want to hear like, where is your inspiration from that? What's made you kind of go into a different kind of vibe? So, uh, I guess. The inspiration is the same inspiration in many ways because we always just be inspired by lots of everything, like all different music from forever. So like in a way, if inspiration doesn't really come into it in a weird way. But if you, if you had to talk about like individual bands or individual kind of sounds, the the most cl- the closest thing I could say would be Hot Chip maybe because like it, Hot Chip do that kind of dancey sound with melodic choruses, but it's also kind of a bit funky and a bit funny if you know what I mean like they, they, they do things that are a wee bit unexpected it's not just sort of pop mm-hmm. um, but I guess that's probably the, the clearest example of an influence I could say would be Hot Chip who I absolutely love and is one of my favourite I've seen them about I don't even know like 10 times or something yeah. love, I love Hot Chip I've always loved them since I was um, a teenager um, but so uh, f- from p- p- maybe more personal that would be personally for me Hot Chip because mm-hmm. I was writing the melodies of the, of, the, of the music a lot of the time so I was getting like hot chippy style choruses and stuff, but you know Mickey Nines is quite a, uh, all the previous albums apart from certain songs. So like if you know the band, we've got popular songs hidden in the mix, like Planet or whatever. But generally, it's quite hardcore, ravey, kind of punky. Mm-hmm. Generally, but we do have that kind of softer side to us. So I guess with this new album, it was more just it was just 
I don't know, it was just kind of like the, the, the mood we were in and we just felt like, you know, rather than making a, an album with a variety of different genres, which we've done before, it was more just, let's just kind of lean into this more poppy side of things and, and people can kind of take it or leave it. If they're more into the punky, ravey stuff with Mickey Nines, then that's great. Then you listen to Modern Kunst. Mm. But if you if you just feel like something different, or maybe if you just different people are not really into the ravey, ravey stuff, then they might like this other thing. But in, in terms of audience, that's great. Whatever, we, uh, it's it's more just kind of like what you make at the time, what kind of what what you're really in the mood for. So you can't really plan that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but certainly a lot of the newer stuff that we're going to release is kind of back to back to basics or or even more newer stuff so there's yeah, you've got the new album newer stuff because because the, the weird thing about releasing a new album is when you release the album it's old to you mm. so i we've actually probably recorded about at least five songs since then maybe up, maybe up to ten songs so i almost have another album ready really? which is kind of like a different genre like it's more back to kind of raw hardcore stuff so yeah like uh, the you know the, the impressive snake stuff was kind of written and finished you know about six months ago so that's yeah, but it yeah, just yeah. came out a month ago but for me it's old so yeah you know I mean? well this newer stuff I, I well the new old stuff to you but it definitely feels i feel like you've put put more heart into it maybe and more soul there's a song on there like it's daedalus it's called and i'm really intrigued about how you came up with the lyrics to this because it's it, it's like being a it's like you're you're kind of just the lyrics are really incredible. I really would lo- love to get that track to play it on the radio for the listeners, to, to for them to think about it. But where did the inspiration for that come? Well, it, <laughs> funnily, like the the reason for that is a little bit like basic, <laughs> because we had another song called Icarus. Mm-hmm. Um, it was we were kind of joking that it would be really pretentious to have like a a song called Icarus and then another song called Daedalus because Daedalus or Daedalus was um, Icarus's father so you know like obviously it's it's touching on Greek kind of god yeah, stuff Greek mythology kind of thing so Icarus the f- it's just on the last song in the first album part the party manifesto it's kind of sort of lightly touches on the, the idea of Icarus kind of um, flying into the stars or flying into the sun kind of idea uh, the famous, you know, the myth of Icarus flies into the sun and then his, his wings melt and then he falls in, uh, into the sea and dies. Um, well, Daedalus was his father who made the wings and told his son, you know, we're going to fly out of this prison yeah. that we're trapped and I've made the wings to get out. You know, they captured the seagulls. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So that's where the lyrics from. So yeah, so like they had a candle and the the seabirds would land on the window and they would catch the seabirds and then they made with the wax from the candle and the, and the feathers they made these wings. Well, he made the, f- the father made these wings and they both flew away to freedom. But he told his son, he warned him, you know, don't don't fly too close to the sun. But obviously, his son couldn't ha- couldn't resist because of the sense of freedom. So that's the myth. But I guess it sounds quite pretentious to say I'm oh, writing a song about a Greek myth. But in a way, it wasn't really. I don't know. It wasn't like like that I guess it was more like we had the song Icarus which was lightly touching on the myth and then I thought it would be interesting to think about the, the flip side of that story but then also to relate how it relates to being a parent as well because now I'm a father and so that's congratulations <laughs> or unlucky oh, thank you so much depending on how you see it <laughs> yes I've done a great job there um, yeah you did it <laughs> uh, <hey. laughs> um, yeah so I don't want to say anything offensive. So yeah, um, <laughs> so I so in a way it was touching on that idea of being a father, and then kind of so so for me it's not really about the Greek myth as such. It's just touching on that. But in a way, if, if you had to ask me what it's about, it would be about being a father and kind of uh, how do you I don't know like how do you bring up your son? What's what's good advice? What's what, what's your role kind of thing I guess something like that but I, 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 I'm getting really annoyed at myself because I really hate talking about the meanings of songs really so, oh yeah. I'm sorry to do that to you I'm really sorry it's to do really that fine, it's really fine. I just um, I just <laughs> I just as soon as I start doing it I just hear somebody else listen to it and I'm like oh my god they're gonna hate hate me from so. my perspective of that song it is it's very much like speaks to me in a spiritual way of like these walls our body it's it's made to fall do you know what I mean it's not gonna last forever and that's how it speaks to me as a listener so that's that's a lot. Thank you. I like that. That's cool. Now that's the exact reason why I don't want to talk about the meaning because then it's like, oh, if I say oh, I think it's this, then somebody else is like, well, I thought it was this, and then that means that they're wrong. But that's really not how songs work. So, no, yeah. so that's why I don't really like to say what I think things mean because then it's not. It sort of people might think oh, that defines, yeah, it defines it or something, which I don't like. No. Well, thank you so much for your time and explaining the things that you do not want to explain. <laughs> Sorry, I had to cut you off there a little bit with the politics stuff, but you know. Maybe on a different 
<laughs> we just go ranting on about politics. Thank you so much, Dougie. It's wonderful. I'm going to play some of your tunes right now. Okay, brilliant. Thank you so much. Cheers.